Hello! And here I am with my trusty Rusty. Isn't he gorgeous? This dog is like a therapy dog. There's something magical about this dog. Um, he's come a long way, if you didn't know, but he's come all the way from Romania. Uh, got his little passport and everything. It's very cute. Um, he was a damsel in distress and um, he had to come and live with me. So um, he is now safely here in my car. We are both isolating now. Uh, but talking about dogs, it brings me to another tale. You know me? If you don't know me, well, basically, if there's a dog, a stray dog, or a dog in distress, I will come to his rescue. Call me on 0016675444. No, that's a load of rubbish. That's just all double numbers. But anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm rambling. But my tale is to do with the stray dog. I was, uh, it was a winter's evening. And I was going up to Birmingham near Tamworth for a snowboarding course that I had booked myself on. And it was the introduction night. And it was be it was to do with becoming an instructor for snowboarding. But anyway, I thought I best head up there early because it was a winter's evening and it gets dark at three o'clock roughly, doesn't it? And I wasn't sure where I was going. I thought, I know me, I get myself lost on a regular basis. So I best set off early, give myself plenty of time. So off I trotted, uh, I was going through Malvern and basically I didn't really get out of Malvern. I was on the road, which uh, is a one-way one -way road uh, at the bottom of Pound Bank, isn't it? And as I was going down there, all of a sudden, a dog was just running down the middle of the road. And I thought, oh my God. And I swerved my car, of course, uh, and went into the hedge. And I couldn't give a rat's ass about my car or myself at this point. I shot out my car to see where the dog was. Uh, and the dog was fine. He came bimbling up to me and he was lovely. He was like an oldish lassie dog. And uh, my car wasn't damaged. I checked my car. My car was fine. It um, was, you know, no damage at all. Anyway, the dog just jumped in my car. And I thought, A up, A up, what's going on? Um, and I shout, I started shouting, I got your dog. He's sitting in my car. He's got, he's got in the passenger seat. Well, well my dog. Oh, he's lying down. And, uh, and he got in the passenger seat. So I thought, wow, there is no way on this godforsaken earth I'm turfing you out now. I've got to, you know, you've got to stay with me. Uh, but then I thought, i got to get to this course. I can't miss this introduction night. Uh, so I thought, right, I shall ring my friends. I've got plenty of friends, all over of dogs and animals and so-so. So I started ringing folk. And no bugger picked up. I thought, for the love of God, of all the times, I need someone to pick up. Nobody picked up. So I was getting a bit stressed out. And I looked at this dog. And this dog looked at me. And I thought, you're going to have to come to Birmingham, my friend. And you're going to have to stay in my car till I get this course sorted. And then I shall find you your rightful owner. Till then. Till then. You're with me. Uh, there was no collar. So I didn't even have a name. So I started driving. And I thought, I thought, I'll start heading off. And as I was driving, he was looking at me and I thought, he's, he's a nice dog. He, he could savage my arm at any moment, but he was fine. And then I suddenly remembered my friend and has got a flat and he's got no animals whatsoever. And I thought, I tell you what, I'll spin the car around and I head back quickly. I've still got time. I've still got time to do it. So I, I pulled the car around, got back to Malvern. And when I got to Ant's flat, he wasn't there. And I thought, for the love of God. So, of course, I thought, Jesus, we're going to... I don't know what to do now. But anyway, then I suddenly thought, ah, Ant could be at my friend's Amy's house. So I quickly drove there. And luckily, his car was there. And I thought, right, I've got no time. Literally, I ran up the back garden. I banged on the window. And they were like, oh, it's Kerry. I went, I ain't got time to explain. And they said, explain what? I said, I've got a stray dog in my car. But the thing is, I've got to get to Tamworth and I literally, you've got to take him and um, I'll sort it out when I get back. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, literally, can you take this dog, please, for love of God? And Ant said, well, let me come and have a look at him. I said, he's lovely. He's fine. Uh, anyway, he had a look at him. And so he put him in the back of his car. Luckily, I have like an animal first aid kit. I'm all kitted out for any distressing animals. So I had a bowl and a basket and all that because obviously I still had Milo. Milo was at home, luckily. Um, and so he borrowed all that and off I went um, up to Tamworth and left the dog with Ant. Anyway, before I left, I quickly explained where all this had taken place. 
So he had a rough idea where the dog may live. So he got in the car and decided, I'll have a little hunt round, see if anyone's looking for a dog. And he knocked on a few doors and this lady answered and she said, uh, no, I haven't lost a dog, but there is a car that's been driving around several times. And as she said that, a car came round the corner. And she went, that's the car. He went, aha, I'll flag him down. So Ant flagged him down. And in this car was an old man and a little boy. And he was, his little boy was in absolute tears. He was just distraught. And Ant happened to say, by any chance, have you lost a dog? And they said, yes, we have. He said, what does he look like? And he said, he's an oldest lassie dog. And he thought, I think he's in the back of my car. So great news. He found his rightful owner. They were very, very thankful for me. And then Ant did say, I must warn you, your dog nearly went all the way up to Birmingham because she's on a course and he would have had to sit in my car for three hours. So all that came around and I did my course. I was late and when I explained the reason why, they thought um, I was off my rocker because obviously I went on a tangent on explaining why I was late. And they, I don't think they quite... I should have just said I was late and not go into the hole, put my car in a hedge, you know, nearly brought a stray dog to the course, blah, blah, blah. So anyway... Um, when I finished, I, I realised there was a few missed calls on my phone. I rang Ant and was very thankful that um, he had managed to find the rightful owner because I thought he's gonna, I'm going to have to juggle between my Jack Russell and this stray dog for the night until morning breaks and I can give him a full English and send him to the vets for uh, a checkup and all that shebang. But it turned out the reason why he was uh, running in the road was because there was been fireworks going off and he was terrified and he did a bolt out the garden. Um, and luckily he came into my path and um, everything was fine. But on my way home, the motorway was shut. I ended up heading to Coventry. It was thick fog. I shit my pants. I rang my dad and said, I'm last in Coventry. Uh, and all I had was the paper maps, you know, not not the sat nav. I didn't have that at the time. So I was going back to the old road maps. Uh, I managed to find my way back to uh, Malvern. I got in and it was about bloody one o'clock. It was freezing cold. And I got up to my mum to explain my evening events. And uh, my mum, poor mother, was sick. And she'd been sick all night. And as I was explaining, she went into a bowl. And I ended up looking after my mother to the early hours. So it was a delightful day. Uh, you know, my mum obviously, you know, I don't know what she called. Terrible sickness bug, terrible. But anyway, that was the day that I nearly took a stray dog to Birmingham on my uh, snowboarding course. It'd been funny to see him on a snowboard, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, but anyway, obviously, uh, we are on three weeks lockdown again. And the weather has turned on us. But never mind... Fucking roll on, that's all I can say. And uh, Rusty, oh bless him, look. I just show you here, he's he's settled in, look, look. He's curled up in a nice little ball. Rusty, say goodbye and we shall update you soon with some more of my shenanigans. Love you, bye-bye. <laughs>